So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to yet again another episode tutorial on how to take your Android phone and make it look like another Android phone. Now in this one it's going to be how to take your Android phone and make it look like HTC's latest HTC 10. Now you may have noticed they just dropped this phone and it has HTC Sense 8, but what we're gonna try to do is make it look almost identical to that. Not exactly because there are some software solutions that we cannot do just because of some patent issues, but we'll talk about that later in the video. But if you wanna see how to make it look as close as you can to an HTC 10, we're gonna do that right now. Now, I wanna warn you guys right now, this is gonna be kind of a long video because we wanna show you step-by-step step how to do this and there's, so there's no errors for you. And you might not have to stick around for the whole video, but you should see step-by-step step how to do this in this video. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's go. All right, everybody, we are here at the desk and we're gonna show you how I made my Android device look as close as possible as I could to HTC 10 or HTC Sense. Now there are a few software limitations that are not going to allow you to change unless you have root or find a ROM, the HTC 10, Sense 10 ROM, which I don't think there's many of them right now. I've been looking around. There's not many yet as that phone just dropped. You gotta give the developer some time to create those ROMs. And if you do download the ROMs, go support them as well. So things like this, you're not gonna be able to change out all of this. Uh, this is very difficult to do on Android. I found even if you, you know, root it, this is very difficult to get this notification tray to look exactly like an HTC 10. So we're not gonna be able to do that. And also if you have hardware buttons here, uh, it'll look more closer to an HTC 10. You see, if you have hardware capacitive bu touch buttons here on your Android, like a Galaxy device, for example, It'll be easier to make it look like this, but if you have a stock Android device, which you probably do, or if you don't, that's cool. This you will not be able to remove right here, these software buttons, unless, like I say, you have a stock ROM or custom ROM, which you can remove those buttons. But what we're going to do here is show you how I made all the icons look like the HTC 10, and the app drawer as well is pretty close to the HTC 10, as well as the wallpaper, the folder, the you know the way it's set up now this clock is the older style HTC clock like back to before the HTC 1M9 probably like the HTC M8 but that's cool because I didn't want to go ahead and install this clock now you can put this clock on and I will show you how to get that clock if you want to be really really on point with this you can get this clock and I'll show you how to do that I just don't want to pay for the application as I already paid for a couple applications to do this process already but as you can see this is how the HTC 10 pretty much looks in terms of the software there as you can see and if you look on our device pretty close to the same software stands the clock once again but here is the Samsung Galaxy S5 here and I'm going to show you how to make it look as close as we can to that now like I say you don't need to be rooted for this method so this will work on any Android device if you follow these steps through and through, you'll have your phone looking like HTC 10. So let's get into what you need to do here. Also, I forgot to mention in the required apps, you wanna get the Sense V2 clock and weather app if you want to have this clock like I show here on my device. Alrighty, everybody, so these are the required five applications, well, four applications that you are going to need to create basically what I created here on my device. Now you're going to need HTC Sense 8. So if we go into the Play Store and you type in Let's see here, HTC Sense 8 icons. If you type in Sense 8 icons, this is a paid app. Sorry guys, it's not free. You can go get it free from an APK, but I don't recommend that because you're kind of stealing the app doing that. Um, HTC Sense Theme 8 by VR Theme Studio did a great job making his icons look just like the HTC Sense 8, and there's plenty of them you can customize here. So go get this app, it's 99 cents. And if you don't have a buck to spend on customizing your beautiful Android device, I guess you don't really care about customizing your Android device. So going back home, we are gonna need the best launchers available. We're going to need Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime. Now you could probably get away with not using Prime, but some things are not gonna be able to work like changing your icon sizes and things like that. So you might not get it exactly like this right here if you don't get Prime. So go get Prime too. And then HTC 10 wallpapers. Let's go find those wallpapers just to make sure that you can see the exact wallpapers that I have. I put M10, I actually put 10 wallpaper here. So I go on HTC 10 wallpaper here. I put HTC 1M10 wallpapers by mod developers. So go get those apps. So those are your required apps here for this customization process. 
All right, everybody, the next step is to make your Nova launcher your default launcher. And I know a lot of you Android veterans, like, I know that, but you know what? Not everybody knows this. So go ahead, and when you can see, wherever it says select your default launcher, it might not look like this. This is TouchWiz. It might look in a little list. Just select your Nova launcher and make it your always launching launcher or default launcher there. So now you can see, look at this mess. We just have a blank screen with a bunch of small icons here. So how are we going to turn this guy into this HTC Sense 10? looking you know device here and also i forgot to mention you also have to download this clock if you want it but you don't need to get this clock if you don't want that older htc clock but we'll show you how to do that later so the first thing i did was i went into wallpapers and i located those htc m10 wallpapers so you could go to htc i don't believe it's in sense here not in sense here. It's in the HTC M10 wallpaper. So let's go find those right there. Look, we're having crashes right here on camera. Let's go find those HTC wallpapers. So wallpapers 10 right there. We're going to find those. Locate those wallpapers. And now you have an option between any of these, you know, 15, 20 wallpapers here. You can even go back to the M8 style wallpapers. But I would pick one of these if you want to look really much like one of these like first five. If you really want to look like the HTC M10, this blue and these are the most common that you're seeing all around the internet right now. So I went ahead and went with that one. So I just set wallpaper and now we got our first step done. Now we're already starting to look a little bit like HTC 10. All right guys, so the next step in this process is going to go ahead and enable the icon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Nova settings here. So settings right there. And we're going to go into look and feel. And when we locate look and feel, we're going to locate icon theme here. So once we see icon theme, we're just going to click that and we're going to locate HTC theme sense here. And once we do that, all the icons should start to change. As you can see, we have the camera there. We have the, you know, this app drawer, but it doesn't look quite like that. So we're going to show you how to get that real quickly here. So going into the app drawer, we still have that Google Now card. So it doesn't look quite that dark theme that you see in the app drawer of the HTC 10. But it is scrolling vertical, so that's cool here. So first thing we want to do is change this down here. Let's change that little uh, icon down there for the app drawer. Hit edit here. Go into the icon itself and then locate your HTC Sense theme here. And locate this first one. This is the one you're going to see out of the box. Now they did give you all of these icons, so it is worth the 99 cents. You get tons of icons to play with here for HTC 10 for a buck. So right here you can see that app drawer. So enable that real quickly, and once you get to this section, just hit done there. Now we're going to do some more apps, but first of all, let's go back into settings, into Nova settings. We're going to go into settings, and we're going to change these uh, this dock size, because those icons are a bit small in the dock. We're going to change the icon size to about 115 here, just to make it a little bit bigger than the icons that you've seen earlier. So we're going to make it about 115. We're going to go back, we're going to go to desktop, and we're going to make those icons about 115 as well. We'll make them 110 because they're usually a, a little bit smaller than the ones on the dock. So let's go back home here. And you can see now the icons are a bit bigger. Now let's just drag these icons out of here real quick because we don't need those on there. So let's go ahead and leave those like that. So of course what we got to do is get this out of here, get this out of here, get this out of here, get that Play Store out of there. And let's try to get those HTC icons down here on the dock. So let's go ahead and locate our settings. We're going to make it look just like that blue over there. Let's locate our settings, put our settings right there. As you can see, we're starting to look a little bit similar here. Let's put that camera right there. As you can see, we've got that camera right there. Let's go find that phone in the drawer. Let's put that phone right there. You can see now we're looking similar here. Let's go ahead and find that messaging app. Let's hold and drag that to the dock. So now you can see our docks are looking quite similar here. Although no hardware buttons. Our no home touchscreen buttons here on the S5, they're on the hardware, so it does look a little bit different, which is actually closer to the HTC M10. And like I say, if this is too small for you, just go back into the dock settings and raise the icon levels up. So let's put that widget there, that older HTC. Like I say, if you got the Zuper widget, you can go ahead and put that newer clock there. But let's locate that widget there. So let's go down here and let's try to find that HTC widget if we can find it here. HTC clock widget. 
There it is. I don't know why it's all the way down there since V2, I guess, version 2. So this is way back in the day. But it's cool. Still looks HTC to me. So go ahead and put 606. Let's see where I'm at. I don't know. Just put Chicago, Illinois. Let's put 606. Whatever your zip code is, put that in there for your clock. Put 60618, Chicago. And uh, use my location. We'll leave that like that for now. But you can see. Now we have that clock there, so looking a little bit similar. We're getting close there to the HTC. So let's go ahead and now put that Google search bar there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down on this, you know, home screen here. We're going to go to widgets, and we're going to locate the Google search. Now this is all basic stuff if you're used to customization, but for some people out there, they want to know step-by-step -step how to do that, and that's why we're doing this all step-by-step. -step. So locate the Google app and put it right here. Now you can see we are almost identical to what I have here on the HTC or the Blue Life One X, I was about to call it an HTC. That's how close it's getting to look there. But you can see, how do we get those black folders and those clocks like that? So let's go ahead in the app drawer and locate that clock right there. Put that clock right there. Now you can see the icons are starting to come off a bit. They're starting to look like they're about to go off the edge and there's not enough room. And it just doesn't look spaced out the same way as it does here on my Blue Life One X. So let's go fix that. Let's go into the Nova settings. Let's go into desktop and we're going to make the desktop grid. We're going to make this four by four on the home, on the, you know, the home screen here. So now you can see I did lose those applications, but that's okay. Cause it's going to look similar to this one right here. So I did drag this Google search bar up a bit so we can make some room here for these icons down here. So you can see we're getting closer. So let's go into the app drawer here. Let's go to clock. Let's drag the clock there. Drag the clock right there. Don't be sending me notifications during the video. Let's go into calculator. Here, let's go find them contacts there. And let's find these this folder. We're going to create this folder here. So we're going to get Google search app. We're going to get Gmail, music, and settings. So let's go to Gmail right there. Let's go to Google search app. Where is it at? The Google search app. Let's find that real quick. I guess we'll just put this one there. That's fine. But we want to make that I, that that folder look like that because that's how it looks on the HTC 10. So let's go to music down here. Okay, now let's go into settings and make that folder look similar. So we're going to go back into Nova settings. We're going to go to folders and the HTC 10 has the grid stack kind of icons. We're going to make it the grid version. You can see grid right there. And we're going to make the square like that. And that's how I got it to look just like that there. So like the HTC 10. So that's pretty much what I did to make it look like the HTC 10. Now we just have to change that app drawer to black. So it looks very close to the dark theme that you get in the HTC 10. So we're going to go into settings, app drawer, and we're going to go to, um, let's see down here, background transparency. And I made it this color right here, the third one over. So you got the white, like the Android marshmallow color, and then you got the... I just changed it to purple, Barney as purple. <laughs> we got it right here, gray right there. So that's going to be how I made that look like the HTC 10 in there, as you can see right there. So now you got the dark theme inside of your app drawer. You got that HTC looking front home screen, and now you basically have an HTC 10 looking software here. And like I said, not all of the software is going to look exactly the same, and that's pretty hard to do unless you are you know, familiar with rooting and all that. So that's pretty much how I did it, guys. Like I said, if you want that clock, go ahead and get the Zuper widget and the Zuper HTC 10 widget as well. So that pretty much is going to wrap this video up, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below. If you have any questions on how to, you know, do something on this Nova launcher, how to change your device into an HTC 10, be sure to drop those down below in the comment section. Now, right before we end this video, I just want to look one more thing. We want to look at the gallery. Let's see if I can find the gallery. This is one thing I don't like about Android. There's so many icons. It takes forever to find anything. So there you can see the gallery right there. Let's go back and look at that picture. So as you can see, this is HTC 10. And now this is your device. Pretty close. Sands the clock. We could just put the clock with the Zuper widget. So anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are. Be well and peace.